Let's look at how to make a brick pattern. First, select the rectangle tool or M on your keyboard. I'm going to make mine two and a half by one inch. Now select your black arrow or V on the keyboard. Holding down Option and Shift, drag to make a copy. And to duplicate that, do Command C and Command D. And that makes a duplicate. Now we need to move the middle block to intersect the middle of those rectangles. Let's start choosing some colors. And now we're going to add a border for a grout color. I've got a light gray color. Now I'm going to scale these down so my pattern itself is smaller. So I'm going to go to Scale Tool or S and we want to scale strokes and effects. And I'm going to do 30%. Click OK. Now with your brick selected, drag it to your swatches panel. Double click on the swatch and we will need to make sure these are lined up. So I'm going to do change the width and you can see that some of these are lined up so we're going to do brick by row so they're offset and then once you're done click the done key at the top here and for some reason it gave us a border of the bricks So zooming out, Command-0, I'm going to draw a rectangle and apply our new swatch. You can see as we resize the rectangle that it stretches it. So you want to go back to your scale tool and turn off transform patterns click OK that way if you resize it's going to keep that size now let's look at an example where we need the brick pattern to follow an arch so if we draw an ellipse tool going to the rectangle holding down or L on the keyboard you can click and drag to get a circle you'll see that when the brick pattern is a border it's it's still following the horizontal format and it's not following the arch so what we need to do is make this pattern into a brush a pattern brush so what we'll do is having nothing selected go to your brush panel go to the flyout menu and click new brush for this little paper note sticky note new brush go to pattern brush okay and in this dialog box you are going to choose our new pattern that we made for the first two items And I'm not going to worry too much about corners right now because we're talking about the arch. So click OK. And now I'm going to delete both of my swatches. And to the stroke, I'm going to apply our new brush. And you can see that it now follows the circle.